Hello, and welcome to the Daily Orthodox Christian Scripture reading for the ninth week after Pentecost, Wednesday. The first reading of the day is from St. Paul's first letter to the Corinthians, chapter 13, verses 4 through 13, and chapter 14, verses 1 through 5. Brethren, love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful. It is not arrogant or rude. Love does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrong, but rejoices in the right. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. As for prophecies, they will pass away. As for tongues, they will cease. As for knowledge, it will pass away. For our knowledge is imperfect, and our prophecy is imperfect. But when the perfect comes, the imperfect will pass away. When I was a child, I spoke like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. When I became a man, I gave up childish ways. For now we see in a mirror dimly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, then I shall understand fully, even as I have been fully understood. So faith, hope, love abide, these three, but the greatest of these is love. Make love your aim, and earnestly desire the spiritual gifts, especially that you may prophesy. For one who speaks in a tongue speaks not to men, but to God. For no one understands him, but he utters mysteries in the Spirit. On the other hand, he who prophesies speaks to men for their upbuilding and encouragement and consolation. He who speaks in a tongue edifies himself, but he who prophesies edifies the church. Now I want you all to speak in tongues, but even more to prophesy. He who prophesies is greater than he who speaks in tongues unless someone interprets, so that the church may be edified. And today's Gospel reading is from Mark chapter 3, verses 13 through 21. At that time, Jesus went up on the mountain, and called to him those whom he desired, and they came to him. And he appointed twelve to be with him, and be sent out to preach and have authority to cast out demons. Simon, who he surnamed Peter, and James, the son of Zebedee, and John, the brother of James, who he surnamed Boanerges, that is, sons of thunder, Andrew and Philip, and Bartholomew, and Matthew, and Thomas, and James, the son of Alphaeus, and Thaddeus, and Simon, the Cananean, and Judas Iscariot, who betrayed him. Then he went home, and the crowd came together again, so that they could not even eat, and when his family heard it, they went out to seize him, for people were saying, He is beside himself. Thank you for listening. Let the brightness of the Lord our God be upon us and direct the works of our hands to do good. See you tomorrow.